Hey guys, it's Jess. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be sharing all of my favorite Instagrammable cafes in Tokyo. If you're planning a trip and want to experience all of the cute food and drink that this busy city has to offer, let's go. First up is my personal favorite, Cafe Kitsune. Kitsune, meaning fox in Japanese, is actually an ode to Maison Kitsune, the French fashion designer house that owns this gorgeous cafe. Located in a back street of Amoto Sando in the Minami Aoyama district, their coffee is absolutely on point, which you can enjoy with their adorable fox cookies, cakes, and sweets. Plus, you can find a few totally gorgeous Cafe Kitsune goods like coffee cups, takeaway mugs, and tote bags. And I can't forget to mention their seasonal fruity and floral iced teas. So delicious. Just a short walk from the JR Harajuku train station, Doubutsuen, or the zoo in English, specialized in animal-shaped ice cream cones. There were five different flavors when I visited, plus a triple-layered piggy cone and a limited edition cherry blossom cone in the shape of a puppy, which of course was the one I had to try. Plus, if you're feeling thirsty, Dobutsuen is located in the same shop as Harajuku Denki Shokai, an eclectic soda shop where the brightly coloured drinks are served in light bulbs. Crazy! If you're looking for a cute photo spot, right outside is Dobutsuen's original vending machine, which used to be their old shop front. As someone who lives in Australia's coffee capital of Melbourne, I have to include Frankie Espresso. This Melbourne-style coffee shop is located in Tokyo's hipster district of Shimokitazawa, just a short walk from Shimokitazawa Station. Frankie serves Melbourne favourites like your flat white and piccolo, as well as classics like your cappuccinos and lattes. Plus, they also offer delicious range of desserts and Australian afternoon tea specialties, like Anzac biscuits, hedgehog slices, and lamingtons. They even have matcha lamingtons, which I can vouch for as being pretty dang delicious. Calling all Studio Ghibli fans! Tucked away in Setagaya, not too far from Frankie Espresso, is the delightful Shirohige's Cream Puff Factory. At the takeaway bakery downstairs, you can treat yourself to a range of Ghibli-themed cookies or grab yourself their specialty, which are super cute Totoro-shaped cream puffs filled with a selection of different creams and custards. My recommendation, get yourself the strawberry flavor, which is the Totoro with the cherry blossom. So, so yummy. And don't worry, there are lots of cute spots to get in on the gram. Tucked away in a back street of Harajuku, away from the craziness of Takashita Street is Eddie's Ice Cream. In a vintage inspired pink shop, Eddie's Ice Cream is a sugar lover's paradise. Offering a colourful menu of ginormous ice cream cones, you can choose straight from their pre-designed set or customise your own with strawberry or vanilla ice cream or a mix of both and their adorable range of toppings for a few extra hundred yen. And if you're all about that pink aesthetic, you will have no shortage of photo opportunities here. If you're after summer with a more chill vibe, situated in the upmarket district of Nakameguro, famous for its cherry blossom river, Onibus Coffee is easily one of the trendiest and relaxed cafes on this list. One of two Onibus cafes in Tokyo, you can order your coffee downstairs and then ascend to the treehouse above to watch the trains go by as you sip your drink. After a long day perusing the boutiques of Nakameguro, Onibus is a lovely and quiet spot to unwind. And finally, Canvas Tokyo. It's a bit out of the way, but if you have a chill day to yourself, Canvas Tokyo is a little gem in the quiet area of Hiro in Shibuya, situated in a gorgeous corner street building. If you're all about that clean, white aesthetic, Canvas Tokyo is the cafe for you. This open concept store actually features multiple brands to bring together coffee, donuts, and a delicious array of salads, smoothies, and juices. Once you've ordered, there's a lovely second floor with tons of natural light for photos where you can people watch all afternoon. Plus, the donuts are so Insta-friendly and totally delicious. And that's it for my top Instagrammable cafes in Tokyo. I'll put all of these gorgeous cafes links down in the description if you want to go check them out. Hope you found some inspo for your next trip to Tokyo. Have you been to any of these cafes? Let me know in the comments below. For now, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.